Hello, I would love to go over the augmentation that I use for this model as pretty much almost all of the movements are done through augmentation and I've learned a brand new way of augmentation and I think that it's a really, a really wonderful way and easy way to update and create augmentation in your model. Now the way that this augmentation is done is by actually rigging the head movements or any other movements that you would like to link to augmentation on a separate parameter than you usually would. So if you're going to create augment on your angle X and Y, then you would create extra parameters for your augmentation. So angle X and Y augment, uh, and you would rig your movement to those parameters. Same thing with your angle Z and any body movement that you want to have in augmentation as well. Now, when you take those and you've already rigged them, uh, all you need to do now is put them into a physics setting. Now, while there's nothing keyformed to your angle X and Y, your face tracker is still having an input and is still reading your position. Uh, so the movement of those parameters, keyformed or not, are still going to have an outward physics effect. So if you have your angle X, Y, body movement or whatever as the output, uh, I like to have mine on type angle as it makes um, it a little bit easier to customize the effect. Have a minimum maximum angle of negative 60 to 60. Uh, that way your pendulum spins as you move around and you get a smoother effect. Uh, you can mess around with your pendulum. Personally, I like to have mine just a little bit under 10 duration, a little bit lower shaking, lower reaction, and higher acceleration. Um, but really, that's for you to play around with and find what you like. Uh, your input output settings would just be your augmentation parameters, and you would continue to do that with the rest of your augmentation uh, parameters, and eventually you come up with a little bouncy little kitty cat or whatever it may be. Now, I really like this form of augmentation as it's very easy to implement into older models, uh, as all you would need to do is to create the new parameters, your augment parameters, and just change the deformers and keyforms to that parameter rather than the X and Y parameters that they're already on. And then you can just link them up to physics and you're all good there.